Good morning, lovelies. I hope you enjoyed the weather yesterday and you weren't stuck inside the whole day revising because that's not nice. But yesterday I noticed something. I was getting messages from people saying, oh, like on your predictive papers, you've done this bit wrong. And I was going, no, that's awful. I can't believe I've done it wrong. And I don't want to look at what they were talking about. And it wasn't that I was wrong. It was that they had misinterpreted the advanced information. Now, if we think about the, the few people that are actually going to bother to email me or message me and tell me this, um, out of the few people that actually pay attention to me, and you multiply that up by the people that won't message me and the people that like don't actually pay attention to what I'm doing, there are loads and loads and loads of you out there who are misinterpreting the advanced information and revising the wrong bits or leaving bits out that you shouldn't be leaving out basically. So um, I don't think I've ever asked you guys to do this before, but this is a really, really important video. So if you know somebody who is gonna be affected by this, please could you just share this as widely as possible to make sure that people don't revise the wrong stuff. So when the exam boards gave us the advanced information, it was a document that everyone had access to, but it was a document that was designed for teachers um, and for people that are familiar with their specifications to look through and read and go, all right, spec point, spec point, spec point. Those numbers on the actual advanced information that was given to us by the exam board, they are really, really important. And what it looks to me like people are doing are just looking at the title of the bit that is not examined and going, oh, I don't have to revise anything to do with that at all. When in actual fact, you do. You don't need to revise the specific spec point that has that title, but if we're looking at everything else that includes that, that topic that has that title, it comes up in lots of different places, so you do need to revise it. Now, this um, problem that I've mainly seen occurring for GCSE, Separate Science, Biology Paper 2, higher. I know this is so specific, but if I've noticed it in one paper, that means it's occurring in other papers as well, and I just haven't noticed it. Like, it could be occurring in loads of other subjects that I don't teach, um, but I just haven't noticed it. So, I'm going to talk you through two very specific examples for Separate Science, Biology, Paper 2, higher. I know this is so specific, um, where I have noticed that people are misinterpreting the advanced information and leaving out stuff that they should be advising. Now, this is the bit where we have to get super, super geeky into numbers and spec points. I mean, I understand this might be a little bit confusing for people that aren't used to getting super geeky with spec points and numbers because the numbers are just like really, really long. But just try and stick with me. So one of the major focuses of the paper we know is gonna be 4.5.2, which is the nervous system. Now for this, there are four parts to the nervous system. 4.5.2.1, structure and function, we know that's not gonna be on the paper. 4.5.2, the brain, we know the brain's not gonna be on the paper. 4.5.2.3, which is the eye, we know that's not gonna be in the paper because they were listed under topics not included. And then the fourth part, which is 4.5.2.4, which is control of body temperature. Now this is a very, very small paragraph. So out of the, everything that could be included, the four topics, it is only the one topic at the end that actually is going to be included. Now this small paragraph is seven sentences long. And out of those seven sentences, three of those sentences are something to do with the brain. So if you just look at the title of the things that are not going to be excluded, the brain, that's excluded, you're going to think everything to do with the brain is excluded, including those three sentences that are in 4.5.2.4, control of body temperature, but that is in the exam. Just because it's talking about the brain, that's still in the exam. It's only the content that is under 4.5.2.2 that is entitled the brain. That's the bit that's not going to be on the exam. So this is why these numbers are really, really important and not just looking at the titles of things that are getting things confusing. There is another example, and I've had to make notes on this because I can't remember all of these numbers myself. 
The next thing we know that is going to be a major focus of the exam is 4.5.3, which is hormonal control. Now, there are seven parts to this topic, but we know that parts four, five, six, and seven are not going to be on the exam because we've been told it. So, just leave this with for parts one, two, and three. 4.5.3.7. Oh, this has to be literally the geekiest video I've ever made. 4.5.3.7 is negative feedback in hormones. So um, this part specifically relates to thyroxine and adrenaline. So they are not going to be on the exam. But if you just look at the title, negative feedback in hormones, and I think that all negative feedback in hormones is excluded from the exam, that is making the mistake. Because, and I'm gonna to have to refer to my notes, 4.5.3.3 is to do with water control, so ADH, and that does include negative feedback in relation to ADH. And then 4.5.3.2 5.3.2 is control of blood glucose and that also includes a negative feedback in relation to control of blood glucose so basically look at the spec points not just the um the titles of the bits that you could be revising so i completely understand how this happens because the numbers are just really teaching if you've never like I do, don't spend a lot of time really delving into the spec and what it actually means, then those numbers, I mean, you're just going to ignore them and assume that everything to do with the brain or everything to do with negative feedback is out of the exam. But it's not. It's that specific little paragraph, page, relating to that number of spec point that is not going to be included in the exam. Um, everything else around that topic could potentially come up in the exam especially stuff to do with the brain where the bit that we know is going to be one of the major focuses of the exam is such a short paragraph it's only seven sentences and this is listed as one of the major focuses so um you can't completely ignore the thermoregulatory center um just because it's in the brain because it's so likely that that is going to come up on the exam and i can just see so many students not revising it because it's part of the brain when we know it's going to come up um well we know it's going to when it's listed as potentially coming up um so i'm sure there are loads and loads of other examples um that i just haven't found yet but those are the two that i have come across in the past week um if you know of any other examples if you could drop them in the comments down below that'd be really really helpful trying to help as many people as we possibly can avoid this massive mistake in the exams um good luck with your revision this weekend guys um if you're watching this over the bank holiday weekend or if you're watching this just before biology paper two good luck with your exam tomorrow um we can do this ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.